Hi, this is a quick tutorial on how to graph on Delta Math. Uh, we want to graph this trig function. Um, so I'm going to kind of do it by hand and then I want to build it back into this. Um, so here is my equation. All right, and so I know that this is roughly what it's going to look like. I have an amplitude of 4. My period is being messed with because there's my B value right there. So my 2 pi divided by 2, my period is going to be pi. So if I built this by hand, we're looking at a 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, my period is pi. Cut it in half is pi over 2. Cut it in half is pi over 4. So that's 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. And then we know that we're going up 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're going down 1, 2, 3, 4 because of the amplitude. So for graphing a sine, we are plotting sine starts on the line, and then we're going up to the top. So we're going up to a 4, down to a negative 4, and then middle, low point, middle. Okay, so how do I get this onto delta math? All right. So I know my period is pi, but I also know my scale is pi over 4. So that's what I'm going to use um, on my delta math. So let me minimize this. So there it is over there. Um, all right, so first off, my, my scale here, I don't have to go crazy. I can go by 1s because we're only going to go up 4, right? So there's 1, 2, 3, 4. So that fits. So I'm going to go a scale by 1, and then I want to go by... Um, pi over 4s, then I'm going to kind of plot out on this grid. So pi over, do the division sign, over 4. And I click done. Okay, so it automatically populates this scale. I was going by 1s. And then I'm going to put this on, I'm going to go like every two spots would be my kind of tick marks. So all that just did was set a scale. Okay, and then from here, I will put a point on my my graph. So if I go back, I'm going to put a point. I'm going to put a point up here. I'm going to put a point here, point here, point here, kind of based on the scale that I have. Okay, so I'm going to start here and you see how they start to put a little yellow dot. My next one would be out pi over four and then up maximum of four. And then my next spot, I can't unfortunately put like all the tick marks, but I know two more spots. I'd be down here on the x axis. And then two more spots, I'd be down at the minimum. And then two more spots, there's my full graph. And after I put my fifth point on, one, two, three, four, five, it automatically knows that's my one full cycle. And so it'll automatically graph it. If you felt like you screwed it up, click reset, and you can start that whole thing over. So you can put your one, you can put your pi, or you can write the word pi, um, yeah, I'll leave it, uh, pi over 4. Sometimes you can just write the word pi and it like converts it automatically. Um, but there's that. So let me do this. So there's, and then I do my five points. One, two, three, four, five. And automatically it should look nice and smooth, equally spaced. And I will click submit. Okay, so that's how you graph something in um, kind of taking it by hand and then converting it over to delta max.